Hi, and welcome to lesson 10 on photoelectric effect. In this lesson, we will discuss some of the shortcomings of uh, classical electromagnetic theory. In particular, we will consider how light is interacting with atoms and um, see what happens and see when classical electromagnetic theory fails and how to fix all of these shortcomings. So let's begin with step one, introduction. So at the end of uh, 19th century, there were two main very successful theories, thermodynamics and classical electromagnetism. And they completely transformed the lives of people. But there were a few key observations that were not explained by classical EM theory. Some of these uh, observations were, one, black body radiation. This is the scenario where we look at the intensity distribution of radiation coming from a black body at different temperatures. In particular, what people were predicted was not at all what they observed. So here we see a typical graph for a black body radiation, where on the x-axis we've got wavelength of the emitted radiation. Here we've got longer wavelengths and shorter wavelengths, meaning that this energy, uh, this, um, energy is lower than this energy in this region. And people wanted to know how is the energy distributed over different wavelengths for different objects, different various temperatures. And when scientists combine classical thermodynamics with, the with uh, electromagnetism, they found out that in fact the distribution should diverge. In other words, it should do something like this. And this was clearly unphysical. There wasn't infinite energy coming out of radiating objects. So something was wrong and they called this phenomenon the ultraviolet catastrophe. In fact, what was observed was later explained by quantum mechanics and it has the following shape. In other words, the energy density does not diverge. Another key, obser key observation was the stability of um, atoms, in particular hydrogen atoms. Uh, so the model of an atom at the time was that there was a negative charge, the electron orbiting a positively charged nucleus. But we already know from classical uh, electromagnetic theory that accelerating charges should radiate energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. And even though this electron was predicted to uh, orbit the nucleus at a constant speed, because it was changing the uh, direction, this constitutes acceleration. So the theory was predicting that such an electron should be losing energy and it should spiral inside the uh, nucleus. And in fact, it should happen so fast, uh, of the order of 10 to the minus 12 seconds, that no matter would be able to exist in a stable form. And clearly this was not true. And the last key observation was the photoelectric effect, the main topic of this lesson. It has to do with the electrons being emitted from uh, metals when light of certain frequency uh, is incident on, on the metal. So in the next step, we'll go into more details of this photoelectric effect. See you there. 